Remember the statement that I made in the introduction video, that I want to make you feel comfortable when using Wappler to create a project. This is the reason why I want to take time out with this video to explain CRUD. And why it is important for web developers to understand the concept. In fact CRUD is much more universal than just Node.js. CRUD actions are fundamental functions of any usable storage model. Hi, I'm Ben Plesier and, like you, a fervent user of Wappler. When we are building APIs, we want our models to provide four basic types of functionality. The model must be able to create, read, update, and delete resources. These functions are generally known by the acronym CRUD. A model should have the ability to perform at most these four functions in order to be complete. Let's see how CRUD operations relate to APIs in Wappler. In the previous two videos I created user actions for registering, login and logout. The fact is, when a user registers, they have effectively created a new record in the database. In Wappler, this function is called, insert. When I go to user logged in, we see that a read function has been used, reading the data in the database. In Wappler this is function is called, query. Don't worry, this is where the confusion ends. As we will see later on, the other two functions are called update and delete in Wappler. Let's me explain the four CRUD operations components. The create function allows users to create a new record. In Wappler, the create function is called insert. The read function is in fact a search function. It allows users to search and retrieve specific records in the table and read their values. Users may be able to find desired records by using keywords, or by filtering the data based on customized criteria. It is important to note that the read function does not change the database or its contents. In Wappler, the read function is called query. The update function is used to modify existing records that exist in the database. To fully change a record, users may have to modify information in multiple fields. The delete function allows users to remove records from a database that is no longer needed. Back in Wappler, I have created two folders. The first is called admin. The second folder is called users. Inside the users folder, I have created the actions that an administrator should be able to perform. I have used the CRUD nomenclature namely, create, read, update and delete. However, any name that you are comfortable with can be used. Here I choose create. In the JSON file I expand the input node. This is so that you can see the change when I create an action. I right-click execute and choose to add an action. In the drop-down, I select database action. Remember that we are adding a create function which is called insert in Wappler. Here we are confronted with a choice of two insert actions. The first is a normal single insert while the other is for multiple inserts. An example of the latter is when you are uploading multiple images at once and are placing the image names in the database. In this case I choose the former. In the properties panel, I choose insert options. As soon as I choose the table, the table fields appear with suggested values for the inputs. Also note the SQL insert statement which is in keeping with Wappler's name for the function. When I click OK, we see that a chevron has appeared in front of the post input. This is because the post input now contains the suggested input values. Selecting a suggested value, I can add a number of properties and validation rules to the value. More about this in future videos. Next comes the read function. In the JSON file I right-click execute and choose add action. In the pop-up, I choose database actions. We already know that the read function is called query in Wappler. Here we are shown four different types of read functions. First, there is a simple query followed by a single query. This is used when we know that there can be only one result. The paged query allows us to create paging options when the query offers many results. I will be using the paged query in the next video when I create the admin users module. The custom query is for more advanced users. I will not be discussing the custom query in this video playlist. For now, I choose the first option. In the properties panel I choose the query builder. Here I choose the table and select to display all of the fields. This is where I want extra time out to explain. I have been and will be using the terms record and field where Wappler uses row and column. In doing this, I am not trying to project that Wappler is wrong in using their terminology. It simply means that I am from the old guard. Back in the early 70s. Using Benton Harbor Basic, I created my own sequential database. The flat files contained records and fields. In subsequent years, 
I progressed from random access databases to Ashton Tate's relational dbase. All use the same terminology, namely record and field. Having used the expressions for 50 years, do you want me to change? Do you want Wappler to change? Back to business. The conditions tab is used to filter the data. Filtering can come from a number of sources and can vary from simple to complex formulations. The data can also be sorted on one or multiple fields. Leaving the condition and sorting blank means that all of the records will be displayed in the order that they appear in the database. Update is the next function in the list. I go through the same procedure as with the create function. Here I have a choice of two options. Similar to the create function, I choose the first option. In the properties panel, I choose update options. Again, when I choose the table, I am presented with all of the fields and their suggested input values. Note the SQL update statement. To explain the difference between a create and an update function. With a create function, it is already known with which record that we are dealing. The record ID is automatically inserted into the relevant field. With an update function, it is important to ensure that the correct record is being updated. This is done in the conditions tab, usually, but not exclusively, by supplying the record ID. Once the OK button has been pressed, a chevron appears in front of the post node. I forgot to show the suggested values contained within the node. But I can assure you that they are similar to those of the create function. Now for the last function. This is probably the easiest of all. It is the delete function. And when I go through the process of bring up the database actions, there is just the one option. Surprise! It is named, delete. In the delete options pop-up, after selecting the table, we are confronted with a conditions tab. As with the update function, the condition is usually, but not limited to the value of the record ID. And that concludes our CRUD exercise. In the coming videos, I will be putting this knowledge into practice. In fact, the next video will cover the user's module in the admin section of the site. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching.